One church is making headlines for the way they have decided to display their nativity scene. The Claremont Methodist Church has created a Christmas nativity scene that depicts Jesus, Mary, and Joseph as refugees detained in cages and separated from one another. This is the How type of- How dare they? This is the How type of religion related headline that I'm in favor of, mm-hmm. right? Because I mean, when you really think about it, it's it's such a strong statement to conservatives in America who tout their religion, they tout their conservatism, but they're also making excuses for or providing cover for the Trump administration, which has brutalized refugees, dehumanized refugees, literally put children in cages. Yeah. Um, well, and it's a reminder too that although almost always in American politics, when you hear I am a Christian and so here's what I want. It tends to be something generally reprehensible. But there are there are good believers who my grandfather was a hardcore liberal Christian. That's what drove his politics was his liberal Christianity. And they're out there and there are churches, full movements, lots of different types. But they just they don't tend to be the ones in the halls of power in DC. Yeah, man, you guys wanna know what I learn about John every day I work with him. John Iderola is a good guy, <laughs> is a good dude. He hangs around with a bunch of good guys. It's what I do. It's what I do. <laughs> I try, um, I was brought up okay. Yeah, no, you, I mean, I love that. I lo- and, and here's the thing, unfortunately, the worst, like the people who twist their religion in order to justify their hatred, mm-hmm. those are the ones that unfortunately, uh, take up the headlines, they get most of the attention, but there's so many wonderful people of faith in this country, right? Yeah. And so, look, I don't believe in religion, I'm an atheist, but I believe in the freedom of religion, right? And so, I don't want the positive message from religious people in this country to be uh, taken over by some of the more unsavory yeah. Uh, individuals. Yeah, and it really shouldn't be too surprising because, like, think about it, like, who is going to succeed, do well, have connections with powerful people? The person who's inspired by their religion to go out and like help the homeless every day, or the person who wants to manipulate Christians to give them money so they can buy a private jet and will tell them whatever they need to hear to hand over their money. Like, of course, they're gonna rise higher and they're gonna have the money to influence political campaigns and all of that. It's sick, but it is sick. That's our system. Yeah, I mean, one of those people is. Trump's religious advisor, mm-hmm. right? She's one of these, um, what are they called again? Prosperity, uh, prosperity. gospel. Yeah, she believes in the prosperity gospel and they yeah. uh, take advantage of and exploit uh, vulnerable people. It's just sick. So look, uh. this story is not about them. This story is about oh, uh, yeah. wonderful religious people uh, who are drawing attention to a very real problem. Uh, and they're condemning the Trump administration by uh, displaying the nativity scene the way that they have. Um, and so I just wanna read a quick uh, statement from Reverend Karen Clark Ristine. She's the lead pastor at Claremont United Methodist Church. She writes, in a time in our country when refugee families seek asylum at our borders and they are unwillingly separated from one another, we consider the most well-known refugee family in the world, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the Holy Family. Shortly after the birth of Jesus, Joseph and Mary were forced to flee with their young son from Nazareth to Egypt to escape King Herod, a tyrant. They feared persecution and death. What if this family sought refuge in our country today? Imagine Joseph and Mary separated at the border and Jesus, no older than two, taken from his mother and placed behind the fences of a border patrol detention center as more than 5,500 children have been the past three years. Yeah. This is, yeah, it's a powerful statement. And well, I just wanna you know, show him some love, give him a shout out because far too often bad people make headlines and, and good people yeah. like her should. Yeah, and even yeah. if even if they did make it in, like if like yeah. someone gave them space, like Tucker Carlson would send a camera crew and be like, "There's straw on the floor. <laughs> Ugh, you should be ashamed." Thanks for watching the Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that 
All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.